after uh, the uh, Gerard Mayo press conference yesterday, he broke out and did a bunch of one-on-ones. And that was his conversation with Steve Burton of WBZ. And in case you missed it, you weren't paying attention. Very simple. He asked about the draft pick. And Gerard Mayo said, let's just say this. We're going to take the best player uh, uh, at, uh, at a position that is really important. You know, just paraphrasing. Uh, Maz, how did you read that one? Okay, so so I hope he wasn't dinking around and that he means quarterback and that they're taking a quarterback. And he's not screwing around with, well, my definition of important position is different than your interpretation of important position. So if what he's saying is true, they obviously will have a shot at one of those top three guys, assuming Jaden Daniels is the third guy and that Michael Penix is somewhere later on. Okay, so it's going to be one of those guys. It's going to be Caleb Williams, it's going to be Drake May, or it's going to be uh, Jaden Daniels. Okay, now look, we can debate whether or not you want Daniels if it's a number three pick, and I'm happy and certainly I'm expecting that we'll do some of that. But if they've already decided that, that we're taking a quarterback, I hope they get the right guy. Because num- the number three in that sequence scares me. Okay, n- n- you are now relying on other people to screw up a little bit for you to get what you want. I would hope that they would look into the possibility of going up to number one if they want a quarterback, especially if uh, the the Bears are going to keep Justin Fields or trade. You know what I mean? They're going to uh, the Bears are going to keep Justin Fields. They're going to move that pick, I presume. So you know, I it makes me anxious. I guess I'm happy to hear that they're going to take a quarterback. Feels like a little bit of a PR kind of comment, PR move. And I'm, I'm throwing a lot at you, Mike. I was surprised he said it. I, 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 Bill in a million years would never have disclosed that. Never. My initial reaction, Joe, before I go to you is mistake. Mistake. What are you doing? And, and so, you know, either... You know, it's one of two things, uh, and that is he's doing something that he's promised. He's promised to be an open book. He's promised, uh, I can't remember the term that he said to Tom Curran on Tom's uh, podcast, something like uh, turbo transparency or, or something like that. You know, again, this is another one of these things. You know, he's departing and trying to be a contrast to what came before him. So where Bill was such a closed book, he's promised something else. So he's either telling you the truth, one, and he's just saying it, or two, it's his opening day, it's his opening press conference, and he's trying to please people because he knows fans want a quarterback and he knows that's a hot topic. And so I'm going to give you, I'm going to give something to make you feel good. Either way, what are you doing? If 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 they're actually doing it, you're going to come out and say it. You're gonna you're going to play your hand. Okay, that's one. You're going to play your hand. But two, it's like wait a minute. So you've already you've already committed to that position that's stupid that's how you make the mistake he said no matter what we're taking a quarterback up here if he's not worth it yeah we're taking a quarterback up here like isn't that how you screw the thing up so like i i don't think there's anything really good there i mean the the the, the other thing that i said about just opening press conference and hey we're taking a quarterback everybody uh you just because you're trying to like pander or make nice or you know please people okay that's kind of a i don't know it's just kind of a rookie move yeah, come out and say you're drafting a quarterback on your opening press conference? Ah, no. Thumbs down. Joe, your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, and the quote was, we're going to draft the best player for a position that is very important. You put the pieces together. So we're all assuming quarterback here, but it's a little bit different than what Bill Belichick would have done. And I think that was the big takeaway from a yesterday. A little. <laughs> That's the big takeaway, right? Everything was different. Every Mike, I worked in the corporate world before I was full-time here. That was a tech corporate meeting yesterday. Everything they said. Look up once. Did they say win? Did they say Super Bowl? Did they say playoffs? None of that. But when it comes to this, I think they do want to get fans excited. And maybe even Mayo hinting to this at a quarterback gets most people excited. And so to your point, I think that's why they did that. So if it is a mistake, at least they have people behind it because people want a new quarterback here. Yeah, it's a it's a rookie move. Mike, it's a let, rookie let, move. Let me ask you a quick question. What if he was being deliberately vague? I don't at, buy it. No, no, I'm just saying. But let's say he was. That they don't know what they're going to do. So he said, we're going to take uh, 
the most talented guy at a very important position, leaving out, that could be left tackle, it's an important position, could be wide receiver, it's an important position. There's no way. Okay. Uh, I mean, so we, we, Maz, we can't play the visual. Uh, and, and, and look, I'm saying no way. I, I Of course there's a way, my opinion. Did you see the actual clip? I did not. I'll play it again. It comes with a knee slap. I think he slaps Burton's knee. And they're sort of like, you know, you're not knee slapping. You know, and he, he says, I'll let you figure out what that means. Or something like that. He slaps his knee. You don't do that if that's a left tackle. They go, hey, here comes the left tackle. No, 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 no. It was clear what he was doing there. Hit it again there, Kev. How excited are you for the draft? You got the third pick in the draft. <laughs> yeah. And now it's on your shoulders. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. What I will say is this. We're going to draft the best player for a position that is very important. You put the pieces together. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're doing that, you're not talking about a tackle. Okay. So, listen, I'm not telling you I believe that. I'm saying that if he's duped us, well, then that's smart, right? Right. Okay. And I and I will come back on April 27th, whatever it is. Yeah. And I will come back that night and I will say, "Mayo, you were playing chess, I was playing checkers. You know, you were one step ahead of us. Smart move." I, you know, I heard Zoe talking about this earlier cuz Zoe Zoe was sort of playing into this. Like he knew not to say that day one, so he's it's subterfuge. He's, you know, laying a smoke screen like, "Oh, wait a minute." I thought the whole thing, he was just got off a press conference where he said, you know, leading men isn't about playing chess. And he's, I'm going to be a turbo transparent. So, no, 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 I don't think he's doing that. I, I, but, again, I could be wrong. I, I, and if it, if it turns out I'm wrong, you know me, I'll say I'm wrong. And I had it wrong. But this is my impression, that he's, he was either trying to make nice with the fans or give people a little something to feel good about or just playing something up there on day one of his tenure, which, again, is... Like, you don't need to do that. Or he's just telling us the truth, which is freaking stupid, or that's really what they're doing, which is really stupid. You've already committed to quarterback at three? What if you go through this process and you find out the guy's not that good? Or you know, whatever. Like, no, I I just didn't like it. I, 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 I thought it was rookie. I thought it was a rookie move, amateur hour. Definitely a rookie move. Absolutely. Look, I think what you're getting to is ultimately – who are they running the team for or or the way they're running the team? Are they running it to keep fans happy and, you know, make them feel like they're sharing things or are they running it to build a football team? So the idea of disclosing it, I told you, I was stunned. I was stunned by that. So part of me thinks that they can't possibly be that stupid and that, like, <laughs> no, I really, <laughs> like, like, part of me feels like, okay, because when I heard it, I went, well, that could be this. And I thought, well, that's my, in my instinct is, you know, he's just kind of yanking everybody around. But maybe it is the opposite. Maybe they are, if they are trying to create some sort of public favor, you know, and create this image that they are more media friendly, I don't give a rat's ass if you're media friendly or not. If you suck at your job, you're going to last five minutes. Well, you know, through all of our bashing of Belichick, it we there was always an understanding that, you know, some things you don't have to divulge. Like, we got it. Like, I, I he obviously took it too far. If a guy's got a sprained ankle, there's nothing wrong with saying the guy's got a sprained ankle. There's some things Bill was goofy about. There, you know, there's no doubt about it. But no one ever, has, you know, got on Bill for not divulging draft plan. Like that's it's called the lying season for a reason. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. You don't come out and say, "Yeah, well, I, you know, I can't tell what we're gonna do with the draft. But I can tell you this: it's gonna be a pretty important position. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like, good God, I don't know." How do you feel about Joe Murray? Because you watch this crap. Bridge year. You, Get ready what? for the bridge. There's going to be a bridge well, well, year. I, well, well, wait for my question first. <laughs> if Because it, it, you watch the college football. Are there three guys worth taking? One, two, three. Yeah, it's the two quarterbacks in, in uh, Caleb Williams uh, and Drake May. And I, I think we have to throw Jaden Daniels in the because the Patriots might. So be yes, interested. there there are three guys we're taking one two three. So do you think they're going one two three, Joel? I don't. Um, I think it's going to be the the two uh, Williams and May, and then the best player available, who is probably Marvin Harrison Jr. But okay, they, but, but there's five guys to take. It's the three QBs, Harrison, and then probably a tackle. Let's just. Say. I think I think Maz, we've been down this Joe Murray cul-de-sac before. <laughs> do 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 you get the sense we're already. 
not connecting? Yeah. No, no. He says there were two quarterbacks to take, and then, you know, there's another quarterback at a take. So are the first three quarterbacks going one, two, three? No. I don't. I don't. <laughs> But, so I mean, that's not just me. That I got no. I'm a down little the, confused by it too. No, no, I, Joe I, Murray I, way, and I'm already sort of lost I, on the I, cul-de-sac. I, I'll start it off by saying I I think the two best quarterbacks at the top are Williams and May. Obviously, the Patriots have the third pick. If Who's, you were drafting, if you're the general manager of the Patriots and you're sitting at three, and those two guys are off the board, what do you do? Marvin Harrison Jr. Okay, because you don't think uh, Jaden Daniels is worth the third pick. I don't. Okay, there we are. Uh, we came to a complete stop, and we went. Now we're moving on. Joe, you gotta uh, answer it like you're on the witness stand. <laughs> got it. <laughs> no, but so don't don't think it's stupid if the Patriots draft a quarterback. In, in your opinion, because you don't think Daniels is worth it. If 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 they are committed to a quarterback at three, but he doesn't belong to be taken there, and they're just going to take it because they need one, isn't that the exact recipe? To get yourself in trouble drafting quarterbacks up there? History also says that, yes, it's it, it would be terrible. So non-quarterbacks f- drafted first, uh, I think that's the way to go with this team. And, Mike, unless they're trading for Justin Fields, I don't want Marvin Harrison third. I don't. Like, what, what are you going to do with him? You have no quarterback and no but, offensive line. What's Marvin Harrison going to do? Run around, spin defenders around, and come back? I know it's not spicy, but they do have the 34th pick in the draft which could be a Bo Nix, Michael Penix, one of those guys.